Thank you very much. I have so many thanks to offer. It's a very special day. I thank the Selection Committee and the Technology Academy Finland, and especially thank Mr. President and all the Finnish people for supporting this truly remarkable award. And I'm particularly pleased to be recognized in a country whose people value hard work, quality education for all, and especially the importance of living sustainably and in harmony with this truly beautiful planet, the people that we share it with, and also the other species, as well as the people who will come after us. As you heard, I am an engineer, even though I engineer very, very small things. Sometimes I am asked where my inspiration comes from to do this, and that's an easy question to answer because my inspiration comes from the natural world. In fact, the very best inventor and engineer of all time, and you haven't yet awarded the prize to this, is nature. Nature created intricate molecular machines that extract materials and energy from the environment and use those to support life and create new life. And when you think about it, new solutions to important problems like staying alive are popping up as we speak. Uncountable microorganisms are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to exploit new opportunities for finding a place to live and to overcome challenges that we put in their path. So the biological world is the most spectacular example of crowdsourcing, right? Crowdsourcing problem solving. Nature's been doing that for several billion years. We humans with our technologies are way behind. And if we were as a fraction, just a small fraction as good as nature, we could devise elegant, equally elegant solutions to critical problems in energy, water, food, environment, medicine. How was all this natural machinery created? How does nature do this amazing chemistry? It was created using one simple design process, one immensely powerful algorithm that works at all scales from molecules to entire ecosystems, evolution a true innovation machine. All you have to do is look at nature and you understand a machine for innovation. Nothing comparable in the world of human engineering. And I've spent the last 30 years putting evolution into action to solve human problems, such as how we might convert abundant renewable resources into the fuels, chemicals, materials, the things we need in our daily lives. In fact, in the laboratory, I can watch evolution create molecular machines that no human being can design. No one knows how to do this. And that annoys some who claim that we have to understand things at a molecular level before we can begin to design. But biology is immensely complex and not a product of human design. So why should standard paradigms work here? Now, while my inspiration might come from nature, whatever I personally have accomplished, I owe to my teachers, mentors, students, colleagues, friends, and family. Scientists and engineers do not work alone. And although I'm winning this prize alone, many have contributed. I especially thank the members of my research group, past and present, for their creativity, fearlessness, and yes, their hard work. This prize is a tribute to them and their desire to change the world for the better. I thank the California Institute of Technology for being a truly wonderful place and wonderful home for innovative research. And finally, I thank my family and friends who came all this way to share this experience. I send love to my three sons who could not join me James, William, and Joseph. And I also want to thank my father, who would have loved to have been here, but we lost him last summer. 
When I was a little girl, he told me I should be an engineer because that way I would always have a job. <laughs> Don't underrate that. And in fact, he was right. I've always had a great job, the best job. Thank you very much.